Is Joe X proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that cheap knives are tougher than more expensive knives? That cheap steels are tougher than more expensive steels? Let's have a talk about it. A whole bunch of people right now are, are going to be blowing up the comments. Oh, no, Joe X doesn't prove anything. Blah, 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 Joe X, whatever. Okay, check this out. I represent and own a premium knife brand. So I don't really have a dog in this fight. I don't have a bargain basement product to offer you. But if you want to support my channel, check out the description box below. Exodus Knife and Tool, made in the USA by White River Knife and Tool. Does Joe X prove that the cheaper knives and the cheaper steels are tougher? No, blah, 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 blah. Guess what? Guess what? I agree with you. Laren Thomas proves that the cheap knives are tougher, that the cheap steels are tougher. Scientifically, with perfectly controlled variables, go check out Knife Steel Nerds. The results that Joe X is getting only demonstrate it in use as he uses his knives. Now, Joe X does not go into detail about edge thickness, edge holding, uh, uh, maybe not fit and finish as much, etc., 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 when it comes to value. So, uh, how important is edge holding? Well, we just, I just talked about Joe X and brought up Laren Thomas. What does Laren Thomas say? about edge holding based on his scientifically controlled testing, the best data that is available in the entire industry and the only completely transparent scientific testing that we have comparing different knife steels of exactly the same size, edge thickness, etc., 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 scientific testing, what does he say about edge holding? Yeah, you can read more in my book. We'll plug the book now. Knife engineering. So knife engineering, there are whole chapters about edge geometry where I show the effect of edge geometry. For example, CPM 154, I mentioned it being in the balanced category. But if you just go 10 degrees more acute, I forget the exact number. You'll have to look in the book. Yeah. It'll outcut S90V. Now, I've been in this industry a really long time, and when I first heard of Bussy, and with my first experiences with Bussy in particular, I had no interest in investing in the brand, because at the time, with the Bussy examples that I saw talking a decade ago, the edges were way, way too thick. <coughs> Excuse me. You can affect the performance of your knife hugely by changing your edge thickness, okay? It's the most important thing, and it, it transcends steel type, heat treat, everything else. Edge geometry is actually more important than steel, and it's more important than heat treating. So if you wanna increase the performance of your knife, just sharpen it differently. Cool. So take it to a more acute angle and just start cutting stuff. Yeah. And then if you get a roll or a chip the way that you're using this knife, then back off a little bit. A lot of knife enthusiasts don't understand the ability that they have to improve the performance of their own knife. A lot of these cheap knives have thicker edges because if they have heat treat issues and mass production, it's not gonna matter so much if they overbuild the edge. So let's just crank out 50,000 of them and put really thick edges on them. Anyways, I had no interest in reviewing these bussies because for one, they were expensive and I don't have, I don't have Joe X money, all right? And I'm okay with admitting that. Uh, they were expensive, and the edges were grossly thick. A high-quality knife is a beautiful balance between edge thickness or thinness, toughness, uh, quality control. Guess what, guys? If you want to have really, really good quality control, you've got to pay quality control people a lot of money who are really good at their jobs and pay for processes to do really high quality quality control. And that goes into the product. You can't just pull that money out of nowhere. Anyways, really good. So it's a balance of all of these things together is what makes a really nice, really expensive knife. I am not very interested in knives with thick edges. You might as well have a crowbar. So if Joe X goes out and he buys a crowbar and he does his test, it will outperform every blade, right? Because there is no edge thickness, but that's not what we're doing. Um, we are, and so 
At that time, I didn't want to test a bussy. Now I have a bussy, Bushwhacker Mistress. It was donated to me by a channel supporter. I appreciate it greatly with the Factory Edge. Factory Edge comes in at 30 thou, which for context is a fairly thin edge for a knife of the size, and it performs amazingly. Do I think that that knife with the fit and finish and quality and balance of characteristics that it has coming from the small shop that it came from is worth the money? Yes. So I bought, with my money, paying full price, a another bussy. Now, I reached out to Jerry himself, and I was like, hey, if you ever want to work with me, and if you would like for me to destroy a knife in my fashion, since he didn't like the way that Joe X did it, send me two knives. I'm not afraid to do that. You think Jerry gives a crap about a little channel like me, a little guy like me? No, it's not going to happen. That's completely fine. That's nothing against him. And I'm going to review these knives, and I'm going to give you my opinion. And my opinion will be different than Joe X's because I'm going to be looking at a lot of other different variables and stuff like that. But I'm okay with that. What I want you to do is as I want you to cherish what Joe X is. And I want you to go to Knife Steel Nerds and read everything. It's all basically mostly in layman terms. Look at the toughness comparisons, the edge holding. Go to Knife Steel Nerds and get actual verifiable information based on repeatable tests uh, to base your information on. Because I'm telling you, I own a knife brand. I've been in this business a really, 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 really long time. I will never grow as fast as Joe X. I will never grow as fast as the Shills. I will forever be a small niche channel. However, to this very day, still on knife groups and even knife maker groups, I see absolute stupidity when it comes to people talking about which knife steel is better for what based on absolutely nothing except for hearsay. And the truth is, the people that are going to tell you about edge toughness, like the female that I was talking about earlier, they've never broken any knives. I've broken quite a few knives out here. I will continue to break knives. I, it's really hard. They'll see here, this chick said, I don't care what Laren Thomas says, the guy who invented Magna Cut and the guy who does all this testing. I don't care what he says. You can run Magna Cut at 64 and with absolutely no change in toughness. Well, I'm paraphrasing. Whatever the crap she said. You've never broke one. You have never broke one. Why are you telling people about how it is or is not going to break when you've never broke one? So my biggest issue, I, I hold myself back on this channel a little bit because I would hate to come off as being presumptuous and I want to have something behind everything that I say that is irrefutable. And you know what? That's really hard to do. I'm not Joe X and I'm not Laren Thomas. So I try and hold myself back. But when I see other people who don't even know what presumptuous means, it irritates the piss out of me and they are toxic to the industry and to the community. What we need to have a healthy industry and community is transparent data. Now I will say that over on Blade Forums, Jerry Bussey says that he's going to start doing some of his own testing, that he's going to control variables. And I believe that he's going to do a good job I'm not a Bussy hater. I'm also not a Bussy fanboy. I want to see more of this. But I'll tell you the other thing. The, the knife, the, the testing that you are used to from Cold Steel or maybe even from Jerry's old testing, the videos and stuff like that, or Montana Knife Company is the absolute worst that I've seen about this recently. They are creating a show to sell you knives. So you do a bunch of cut tests. They cut this, they cut that, they cut the other. While well, they break the cinder black block, I'm, and this is exactly what Montana Knife Company did, and I'm, I'm, you know, Cold Steel did stuff like this that was similar. They break the cinder block last. Bro, you can break the cinder block with the spine of the knife. Let's see you cut something after you break the cinder block. Or... People will completely destroy the edge of a few knives and be like, oh, it didn't break, bro. 
Oh, and Miller Brothers was huge on this back in the day. They do these tests cutting through steel, completely ripping out the edge all over the place. And they cut a seatbelt and it's almost like a serrated knife. Like, and they cut through the seatbelt and they're like, yeah, it still cuts. No, your knife is destroyed. You didn't prove anything. Any knife, any freaking knife could take high levels of abuse, be itself completely destroyed and then do what you did. It's silly. So transparency and honesty it's hard to find and you're not going to find it often and be careful who you get your information from because there are not a lot of people out there who are going to tell you the truth or who are motivated to take the time energy and money that is required to tell you the truth i myself own a knife brand I mostly review other people's knives, but I own a knife brand. So if I say something to you, question it. And then go look elsewhere and go see if what I'm telling you is the truth. You will find out every single time, even if I'm wrong, that I am trying to tell you the truth. But don't believe it just because of who I am. I own a knife brand. There are ulterior motives involved here, right? Double check what I say. Subscribe to Joe X. Check out Knife Steel Nerds. Have a blessed day.